Hey, Whiskey Fireside Chat number 22. We're still out in the backyard. We're gonna keep them going all day. So we got my mother, Evelyn Callan, Evelyn Lang Callan. She's uh, from Scotland, Edinburgh. That's right. We're gonna have some Irish whiskey for dad because he would find this hilarious. So this is actually a nice whiskey. Uh, um, Powers. I like guess it's, it's not really good, but it's gold label. What would you like to know? Dad? Well, first of all, I want to tell everybody why you're here. My mother decided to visit. She doesn't tell me when she's leaving. No, and I never will. So I'm going to have a lot of whiskey chats this week. <laughs> hey, son, I'm coming out to visit. Okay, but I got the things to do. I won't get in the way. Don't worry, dear. Next time I'll bring an ironing board. I know. I have an iron. I use my table. Good <laughs> lord. All right, so yeah, we got. I'm having my 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 mom. Oh, oh lord, I'm a little nervous. You know what? I can present in front of hundreds and hundreds of people, but when my family show up, it's a nightmare. So you showed up at the Toronto show, right? Yes. And uh, hi, come on. And then I went to sign books. You were signing my books. I know. With your name. Yes. So what are you doing? She goes, you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for me. <laughs> he tells me I say a lot of things. I don't think that's true. <laughs> well, that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good question. So where did all the story, uh, storytelling come from? I tell lots of stories and stuff like that. Was I like that as a kid? Uh, no, you were very shy as a little one. But I'll tell, I'll tell one story that I think is nice. Remember you had... <laughs> you only got one story that's nice. Remember when you had your pet Frodo? Oh, my ferret. Yeah, I worked at Wildlife Center. They, they weren't pets at that time. Nobody really knew what ferrets no. were. Yeah. But I had uh, gone on a trip to Scotland and I brought my husband back a beautiful Aaron sweater. <laughs> Tell that story. <laughs> I mean, the sweater was too big, so um, I had to unravel it and re -knit it again. Kevin, um, he uh, used to do a column, uh, write a column for a little newspaper called The Beaver. And I'm reading his column. His poor ferret had passed away. It was a terrible accident, but anyway, ferret had passed away, Frodo. It hung itself. In his column, he's talking about having to bury his uh, uh, best friend, Frodo, wrapped in, in his favorite sweater and had to put him in the ground. And this favorite sweater was the sweater that the <laughs> ferret used to coil around at night in the tent when they were camping. I had no idea that this $250 Aaron sweater was wrapped around a ferret in a hole in the ground. And may Frodo rest in peace. <laughs> that was one story. There you go. Right. <laughs> what, five years ago I went to Scotland and met the cousins That's right. and found out more storytelling and writing was from my Scottish side, not my Irish side. Well, I tried to tell your father that all along, but he wouldn't listen. Because my dad was Irish Irish, and I was the last male Callan, and so therefore I'm Irish. I, Scottish had nothing to do with it. And he was a boxer, that's why he was a big guy. And of course, yeah, I, I was not a boxer type person. <laughs> yeah, he fought at uh, the gardens. He's lightweight, yes he did. Yeah, I remember he would teach me how to box, and I hit him, and he, he bled, and I started crying. Remember that? <laughs> I don't think he wanted you to be a boxer, Kevin. No, we, we remember visiting all his boxing buddies. He wanted to be, you to be a lover, not a boxer. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so I was shy, and then was that because I have three older sisters? Uh, yes, uh, I don't know. I don't know. You. I think it was just your nature. Yeah. I think you're a, 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 a private person. And we did go camping, right? We camped a lot. In a trailer. In a camper. Mm -hmm. Two of his sisters played the, the guitar and uh, they used to play uh, around the campsite. You learned to play the drums. You were. Yes, like they're very drums. hard to take on a canoe trip. You played for a band. Crazy I Haze. I think it was called Crazy Haze. Yeah. I think the first gig that you did, you, they threw you out. Yes, they did. Yes, we, they got, did. we got fired. <laughs> That's why I changed my career to. Uh, world-renowned writer and outdoor educator making bundles of money. And I'm so happy that, you, that you've that you been able to do that because when you were in school, your spelling was atrocious. <laughs> Thank goodness for spell check. Huh? Whose idea was to have a whiskey fire sun chat with my mother? You told your friends what the, your sisters called you 
and he's the prince. No, don't go there. No, that's not true. Yeah, my three older sisters called me the prince because I got away with everything because I was the only male. That's a lie. A lie. But I think um, he took his uh, love of nature from his father. His father, he loved fishing. Oh, we'd have some great times. We went on a lot of trips. He's a very, too. very patient man. We got a helicopter. We're worried about the fire because it's, it's a fire van. We're not supposed to have a fire on. But we circled. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we have a saint in our family. Yes, we do. <laughs> Sister Margaret Sinclair. True story. Of the precious blood. And she has been beatified, which means that she's almost a saint. Oh, you didn't tell me that. And also, uh, wasn't my grandfather or great grandfather, didn't he make the, the statue for the dog? No, he didn't make the statue. He poured the mold. He was it a doesn't... <laughs> I've been telling this that story for years. Because, you know, stories have become stretched, as you know. <laughs> <laughs> so we got, a, we got a lot of storytellers on both sides of the family. Or liars, basically. <laughs> Exaggerators of the truth. Yes. Well, you know, I'm, you always stretch a little, a little, just to make it interesting. Hey, wait a minute, though. I have, in Milton, because you're your friend, I have a plaque. Oh, Kevin was nominated by one of his high school teachers uh, uh, to... Um, high school teachers? Yes, Mrs. Gray. She was one of my teachers? She was a high school teacher. Oh, I don't think... You, you didn't take typing. Okay. okay. <laughs> I can't spell. I didn't take typing. How the heck did I ever become a writer? <laughs> but she nominated Kevin uh, for the Walk of Fame in Milton. Yeah. And in our town hall, he does have a plaque on... Floor, and you know who hallway. else is there? The astronaut? Chris Hadfield. Chris Hadfield is right there. Also, Mr. Dress Up. Mr. Dress Remember Up. Remember him? Yeah, yes. he's there. And some hockey players, John Tonelli and um, Mike Kaziki. Um, and some guy from Milton that can't spell and never took a typewriting course in his life. Kevin Callum. There you go. There's Whiskey's Fireside Chat number 23. I hope this is the last one today because I've had enough whiskey. <laughs> I would just like to say uh, I'm very happy to be here. I'm very happy to see how my son is doing really well. I'm very proud of him. And cheers. Cheers. Mothers yeah. never change. <laughs> and I hope you edit that pretty good. <laughs>